a very quick film. As you can see, there's a helicopter up, up on the Cotton Hill, just outside South Hill, and it is spraying. Uh, I have no idea what it is actually spraying, but it was going over the back of the hill and spraying something. I'm sure it was, you know, you can actually see it here. You can see it's, it's spraying, I don't know, maybe weed killer, who knows? You have absolutely no idea. If you're zooming closer, you can see it's clearly spraying something. Now, it's a windy day, so I doubt that their spraying would be very successful. And while they're spraying a national park, uh, i.e. Cotton Hill, just outside Oakhampton, I have absolutely no idea, but I'm sure that there will be a huge amount of health and safety risk with whatever they're spraying uh, being carried by the wind to there's a farm no less than about half a mile to the left of this area and there are the people who live there, there are people living in the house up just at the bottom of the hill here, about three quarters of the way down you have livestock in the fields over here. You can see that down there in that field. There's livestock right there, and yet they're spraying a substance on a national park. Um, the wind is. I'd say coming from the southwest, so where they're actually spraying here will be impacting on the village below, on the houses here just behind me, those houses there, this house right here, uh, which I believe is a holiday home, but the others are, I know for a fact, occupied. and. I'm assuming that this spray is a light material and the wind being as strong as it is will be quite happy to carry it across this valley to these properties or down to the village of South Zeal which is immediately to my right as you can see down there so back to the spraying, what are they spraying, why are they spraying it why haven't the local population been informed? It's kind of a worrying scenario if you don't know what's in it. Uh, if it's pesticide or, or, or weed killer, then it could have serious ramifications on people's health in the area. Now this is UK mainland. Uh, the A30 is no more than a couple of miles to my right uh, so there's lots of traffic there as well it's a kind of a main vein into the southwest from Exeter down towards Cornwall etc so we're I'm out in the middle of nowhere really with the exception of, of, of that main thoroughfare and villages here like Near just outside Oakhampton, and the um, village of Stickle Path, which isn't too far away either. It's actually just over the hill from where I was shot before. But this is clearly unacceptable because there's houses. <laughs> Let me widen this a minute so you can see what I'm talking about. Hopefully, you can hear me above the wind. But just over here. There are private houses, uh, behind this bush there's one for sure, and where the trees are just here. Uh, just down here, beyond that bush on the horizon there, there is a uh, house as well, actually there's two houses. And yeah, they're spraying this, look at Kerry, wow, for miles. I don't know what's in it, I don't know why they're doing it. It's certainly not crop dusting because there's no crops up there. 
So what on earth is going on? What are you doing guys? Why are you spraying cardboard? Strange, there's no identifying marks on the helicopter that I can see whatsoever. If you look closely, I'll try and zoom in as much as I can without losing the picture. Yep. There's some sort of black marks I'll have to look at when editing, but... What is it? Why is it doing it? Why are you spraying over Dartmoor? I mean, there's clearly a spray coming out of this helicopter. Uh, I actually rushed down to my place. I was walking my dog here. I was speaking to a lady and said, that helicopter's spraying over the hill there. She said, no, no, no. And I said, it could be a, possibly some antennas. But you could clearly see the antennas. If you look, it looks like there's tanks. Yeah, there. Below. And as it turns out, you can see the spray arms which is what I thought they were in the first place. Uh, oh, where's he going now? He's done his best spraying. And he's spraying over here. Really? What are you doing? Is he going into land? Is he going to spray another area? No, well, the battery's still good, which I hope it is. We shall have to go and find out. Or at least try. There seems to be no sign of him. I can hear him. I can't see him. I can't see any reason why we would actually want to spray over Dartmoor. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's a national park. It's a protected area. And of course, look, you have people who live here and here, right, and the wind is quite strong enough to carry the spray onto these properties. Or well, should the wind um, do what the wind does and be very unpredictable, you know, it would uh, carry it to the populated area. No, he's gone out of range over the hill there somewhere. I can still hear him. where he is and what he's doing I don't know maybe he's refueling his spray tanks down there it sounds like he's landed and he's doing that and this sounds highly illegal and unlawful to me and uh, kind of worrying really being at the state of the world and such things like that uh, I shall cease the video for now, save the battery, and with any luck, post a part two. Let you know what's happened.